The fundamental musical vocabulary of pitches and rhythmical elements are based on mathematics. There are some pretty heavy equations and formulae relating to note frequencies and tuning methods, but the surface vocabulary of scales and chords use simple numbers that are easily identifiable. Let's start by looking at scale formulae. The formulae for most of the essential scales comprise three components. R signifies the root, which is the first note of the scale. Number one represents the interval of one whole tone, and the half represents the interval of one half tone. The major scale formula is a step pattern of root one one half, one 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 half, while the minor scale formula is a step pattern of root one half, one one half, one one. These step patterns will ensure the right notes for the major or minor scale in any key. Let's start by making a C major scale. We'll start with the root note. Then we'll go a whole tone up, another whole tone up, half a tone up, whole tone up, whole tone up, whole tone up, and finally half a tone up. Once we have a row of scale tones, we number them in numerical order from 1 to 8. Each scale tone is identified via its numerical position. Let's now have a look at the C minor scale. We start with the root note, and then we go a whole tone up, half a tone up, whole tone up, whole tone up, half a tone up, whole tone up, and another whole tone up. As with the major scale, each note of the minor scale must be given a numerical value. Out of all of those scale tone positions, numbers 1, 3 and 5 of both the major and minor scale will create either a major or minor triad. These two triads are the fundamental harmonic building blocks in nearly all forms of music. As most popular chords are derived from particular scales, one really needs to know the scale tones first as with the C major scale or the C minor scale. However, there are shortcut formulae which can easily create some pretty advanced sounding chords without having to know the scales or the key signature. We are now delving into simple maths addition using just the numbers of 4 and 3. Each combination will create either a major or minor triad. Let's start by looking at the major triad. We're going to count up four semitones from the root. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hold that note down, count up three semitones. 1, 2 and 3. And we hold that down and there is our C major triad. Now let's look at the minor triad in C. Start with the root, and we're going to go three semitones up. One, two, three, and hold it down, and count up four semitones. One, two, three, and four, and we hold that note down, and there is our C minor triad. The sound and shape of a triad can be modified by something called a matrix. A matrix uses combinations of one, three, and five so that the numbers remain in numerical order vertically and horizontally. Let's have a look at what that would look like in the key of C using a C major triad. Here are the numbers of 1, 3 and 5. You take the root, put it up an octave and you have 3, 5, 1. You take the third, put it up an octave and you have 5, 1, 3. You take the fifth, put it up one octave and you have 1, 3, 5 again. If you take the fifth down an octave, you have your 5, 1, 3. That's a shortcut for a second inversion. Let's now look at these on the piano. 1, 3, 5, 3, 5, 1, 5, 1, 3. To make a first inversion, you play the root position triad, move the root up an octave, and there's your first inversion triad. To make a second inversion, you play the root position, 
take the fifth, move it down an octave, and there is your second inversion. Remember, it's going to be exactly the same principle for the minor triad.